This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today... It took a while for this one to get here. Uh, um, the I got in on the second restock from DJC Collectibles and... I had this guy on pre-order for like since, I, I don't know, October? Uh, but uh, yeah, it took uh, it took a while to uh, get here, but uh, now I'm happy that it's here because it's already open, as you can see. And I really enjoy this guy. He, I can't wait for the frenzy repaint. And you know, he has the uh, the file drivers and the little guns. Um, really, probably the best version of Rumble uh, since G1. I have to say, um, I kind of enjoyed the Siege version, but. You know, it, it was lacking in uh, everything, uh, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a bad figure. But now that figure is going to go to my five-year-old, and he's going to have a blast. And I'm just going to keep this uh, new toy uh, cartoon animation model uh, color. Works uh, a lot better for me. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also something new I came up, who's your favorite voice? A list of uh, short where I compare, uh, you know, two version or two voices of the same uh, character or sometimes different version, you know, reimagination of a character. Uh, so yeah, check that out. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Starscream, Megatron is strong, he's merciless, he can't be beaten, and you'll never be our leader. And just before we start, I just want to show my new bag, Rob. So yeah, picked it up from Toy Hacks, I got the large version of the Volcano. So it's not really Transformer specific like the uh, Grotto I had, but uh, I really enjoyed this, uh, this design, this painting, or... I don't know, drawing, not an artist, I don't know, but this looks really good and I think it fits really well with Rumble. And this guy is really, really interesting. I mean, if you compare with the old one, yeah, it's kind of night and day. But first you have, well, the box that you've already seen uh, with the artwork on the side and then you have the product shots. And uh, pretty much it, standard, uh, well that's the Studio Series 86 uh, logo. And now you have the instructions, standard War for Cybertron stuff. It uh, shows you how to do the, uh, you know, insert the pile driver and transformation. All right, taking a look at the accessories, you have the two little guns and uh, they're pretty good, fairly accurate to uh, what we had. Uh, come on camera, focus. There you go. Fairly accurate to what uh, we, I think even the G1 toy had it. And then you can easily plug them in the back. In those bags right here. And it looks, whoa. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So rumble with the little guns. You have those two pile drivers. And then from this angle, man, do they look amazing. Colors are nice, lots of details. And then you turn them around and it's, you know, a waffle as we're used to, but it fits. Um, you'll notice there's no, you know, five millimeter ports or stuff like that, because the plugging is done differently. Um, so, well, might as well just do it right now. Uh, what you want to do is flip the end on the side, like on the inside, like this, and then turn it forward so that you can see that big ball joint. 
in the shoulders. And then you just shove it. It's uh, it's actually a very tight fit. And there's one side that goes in more than the other. And I don't want to force it, so that's what you get. But he looks really good. And then you have to kind of angle it, move this forward. Because you want him in a bending position, but not too much. You want him to be able to look forward. So what I do is I bend the knee a little bit. Always on camera. Anyway, so if you have the patience, which clearly I don't, oh, there you go, uh, swim a little backwards, there you go. So this is how he looks with the Paul driver. So I think it's, I think a five millimeter peg somehow would have worked better, but this works too. So, you know, because the arms really became the pile driver uh, with some uh, mass shifting or pocket dimension more, that, that was a thing. And it's really tight. So I don't want to break it on camera, but yeah. Let's put those here. And if you take a look at the actual figure, pretty awesome actually. Uh, for a core class, I think, I think this fits more than the other robots. Like I know they're trying to do a whole line of core classes, but this, um, to me, maybe all the cassettes should be core classes. I mean, you have a very good face sculpt on this guy. I mean, you can't miss that this is frenzy. You have the details on the chest, crotch area, uh, you have a pin. And I already received the Toy Hacks decals for this guy, actually a long time ago. So now I'm hoping there's pin covers. Uh, you have, uh, you know, um, details at the legs. And in the back, well, you have some hollowness here for the head and then the back of the legs. But not too bad. And then if you compare him with the Siege version, uh, which actually this was listed as Frenzy, uh, Rumble is actually a head taller, so that's cool. You don't have, you know, ports uh, on the hand uh, for, I don't know, blast effects, I guess. Um, you do have, it's like a brand new mold. When you look at it from a distance, you think that they might have reused some parts like the arms, but the arms are actually a new mold as well for the shoulders. Uh, the forearms are different. The hands are really different. Uh, the legs, that it's it's there's no new, there's no retooling. So this is brand new mold, and I like it. I mean, not that I dislike this one, but uh, it's gonna go in my uh, five-year-old collection. So yeah. Oh wait, articulation. That's one thing. This guy had pretty much nothing. This one has. Uh, a ball joint at the head. I mean, the guns do get in the way a little bit. Uh, but it works. You, you can look up because of transformation, really. Uh, that's, you know, it doesn't look down. Uh, shoulder because of transformation can go like this. Can go like this. You don't have an elbow band. And then, like, you, like I showed, the, the hand can move... Uh, in the inside so that's because of transformation there's no waist rotation you do have a johnny cage possibility can you do the nut punch with this one eh kind of oh there you go a good johnny cage on this one uh you have a very very flexible knee uh, more than 90 Actually, it probably would cover all the way if it wasn't for the butt peg. Uh, and then you have the toe uh, rocker because of the transformation, but you don't have an ankle tilt. Or a toe tilt and an ankle rocker, I always mix those two. Sorry, I'm French. Well, no, I'm French-Canadian. And yes, there's a difference. 
So there you go. Uh, final look at Rumble. Now let's do some size comparison. With Siege Soundwave. And I'm really hoping that they re-release the next Netflix version. I mean, this was the first Decepticon my son bought me, my oldest. And he loved that figure because he just looked so cool to him. And I like the uh, uh, robot mode, uh, but I do wish he would turn into a tape deck. So I'm hoping they're re-releasing the Netflix version with the uh, Legacy line. Siege Laser Beacon Ravage. And uh, I don't dislike the Ravage mode. I mean, it's not the greatest because he's kind of bulky. So I'm hoping they re-release a core class version of these guys. You know, maybe a little more articulated, a little bigger. That'd be neat. And with Rewind and Eject. I mean, and Rewind and Eject were already an improvement on the Siege mode because the transformation is different. Uh, but I think Asbro actually really nailed it with uh, Studio Series 86 Rumble. Now, I'm not asking them to redo uh, the Autobots cassette because they already look really, really good. Um, all, yeah, people complain about the clear plastic, but I understand that they went with the 1980s look of a cassette. We had tons of clear cassettes back then, so it made sense. But uh, if they were to remold them, uh, re and, you know, like this, I wouldn't mind. And now for something I rarely do, transformation. So you want to... He's uh, small, so I won't mind. So you want to flip the head, turn it down, raise the arms. In the oh, it's a tight joint, so be careful. I want to break it. So you want to put it in this kind of pattern. Turn the leg on this side, raise it like this. It's very undignified position, but it works. You want to flip the hands inside and then clip, and then there's. A little hole here that uh, clip with that peg here. I mean, it does the job. So there you go. Rumble in cassette mode. And he looks fine. I mean, it's not really a cassette, uh, let's say, that you would have with um, the G1. Um, actually, you know what? I can compare with that. Hold on. This is the Ravage we got with the War for Cybertron Covert Agent Ravage. And uh, the cassette looks like a cassette. I mean, I could see myself, you know, put a pen in there and rewind the tape. Uh, so that's, that looks way more like a cassette than this does. I mean, I understand that these little chest holes here are supposed to be the, um, the same thing as this, but I'm not feeling it, you know? So G1 did that better. But he looks really good. I can't wait for the Toy Hanks decals to be applied on this guy. Uh, it's going to look uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, because now it's just two tones plus some silver highlights and pin covers. Uh, no hollow nest. That's, you know, in this mode. So it's always good. I like the details. But I uh, can't wait to apply the decals on this guy. Uh, which might be or might not be my next review. Uh, but uh, now let's put him back in the robot mode. Well, there you go, the whole family together, and this looks good. I mean, I can't wait to have a new version of this guy that looks like this guy, and a new version of this guy that transforms into a tape. I know these two have uh, add new modes with the Netflix release, so but I haven't seen them personally, so I don't know. How they are pretty happy with these two already so it's no big deal thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care